Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for me some medicine. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 4. That's Proverbs chapter 23, verse 4. And the scripture says, Don't wear yourself out to get rich. Because you know better, stop. Don't wear yourself out getting rich. Because you know better, stop. Contrary to what the words the world says about chasing the bag, the Bible says, stop. For y'all that don't know what chasing the bag means, I just learned myself. That means... Running or running after the money. Going after it at all costs. Chasing it. You're chasing the bag. You're chasing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And this concept or mentality has infiltrated. It's always been there. But you see it more prevalent now that more people now are pushing this message of chasing the bag. Chase the bag at all costs. No matter what. And I want us for this morning. To have this in mind. That if our motivation is the money. Then we got the wrong motivation. If our motivation is to chase the bag. Then you're chasing the wrong thing. Now I'm even tell you this. If our motivation and the reason why we're doing it is because of the money, we need to check that intent. Because God may be not being that. See, we can never find in the Bible where God tells us to chase the bag. That's never the focus. As a matter of fact, we have misused the word blessed. Many people think blessed means to have money or to be able to have that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. To have this lavish car or a lavish house or a lavish job or, you know, all these lavish things. Keeping up with the Joneses, one would say. And we have used or connected blessed with the accumulation of things. The finer things, one would say. And we do whatever it takes to get it. Because if I get it, it shows that I'm blessed. If I get it, it shows that God has truly anointed my life. If I have this lavish car, or lavish this or lavish that. It shows how much God is upon me. If I continue to wear my Louis V and my Gucci this and Gucci that. Or if I got on J's this and J's that. And this misunderstanding of blessing has us chasing after the bag. But the Bible says we need to stop that. The Bible says don't, don't get weary chasing out all that stuff. The Bible tells us that's not even the understanding of being blessed. That's the wrong understanding. Blessed has nothing to do with things. Nothing. Then how do, how do I know I'm blessed? How do you tell I'm blessed? Good question. Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read this scripture real quick. Matthew chapter 5. Let's see what God says about how do we determine if we're blessed or not. And let me know if it has anything to do with chasing the bag. Let me know if we've seen Louis V or Gucci or any, any, any of that in here. Matthew chapter 5. Look at what God says. He says, starting in verse three, blessed are the poor in spirit for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the humble for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. 
for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. You are blessed when they insult you and persecute you falsely and say every kind of evil against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice because your reward in, in heaven is great. For that is how they persecuted the prophets who were before you. For you are the salt of the earth. Look at what I'm saying here. The Lord says, blessed has nothing to do with things. But blessed has everything to do with allowing myself to grow in God. Allow myself to be poor in spirit. In other words, allowing him to increase in me and me to decrease in me. Blessed has everything to do with having more of his presence in my life. The Lord said the kingdom of heaven resides in you. And so the way to understand blessed, truly being blessed, is having more of the kingdom of heaven operate inside of me. The more the kingdom operate in me so it can be displayed on earth from me. But I need his presence. The bag is not what we should be chasing after. What we should be chasing after is more of God. What if I put that energy that I have, that motivation that I have on chasing the money? What if I put that in God? What if you are more willing to do more overtime in God than you do at your job? What if no matter what, you have that attitude that no matter what, I'm going to get this money at all costs. What if you had that about your relationship with God? Man, I'm going to grow in God at all costs. I'm not going to allow anyone or anything to stop me. What if that was your motivation? What if that was your mentality? The Bible says don't grow weary trying to get rich. See, we speak about this prosperity, but the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, he says, I wish for you to be prosperous and in good health. Then he goes on to say that your soul may prosper. The greatest thing that God is concerned about is not much money you got in your pocket. The greatest thing that God is, is concerned about is your soul prospering. Your character reflecting his character. Because money is never an issue to God. The Bible says the earth and his footstool, that's his. What God is more concerned is how much you have of him. And if you have of him, God said, I'll supply all your needs. But sometimes our focus be on the wrong thing. We focus more on the things than the creator of the things. We focus more on the creation than that of the creator. And we start chasing after all the wrong things. So I'm saying for our morning medicine this morning. What are you chasing after? That bag? Are you chasing after that bag? God don't want us to chase after that bag. And we will spend all that and grow weary thinking somehow, some way, shape, form or fashion. That that bag is going to feel some type of need in us. But God says, don't grow weary in that. Don't grow weary in that. Because you're chasing and you have the wrong mentality. God says, grow in me. God says, grow in me. What profits a man to gain the whole world, but yet forfeit his soul? What profit us? To grow after all this, chasing after all of that, and we lose our family. We have no time to even spend with my kids. No time to spend with my wife. That this job consumes me because I'm chasing after this promotion. Is that what defines your life, that promotion? Man, I'm saying our life is worth greater than that.
Your life is worth greater than chasing after that bag. God said, if you understood who I am, you wouldn't chase that. Let me end with this scripture. Because I want to remind us that what God says, if we're going to be rich in anything, God tells us what to be rich in. This is James chapter 2. James chapter 2, verse 5. James chapter 2, verse 5. I'm going to read this real quick. He says, Listen, my dear brothers and sisters. Did God choose the poor in this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he has promised to those who love him? Look at what God says. He said, then those he promised to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he has promised those who love him. What I'm telling you is there's so much more than that bag. That bag is not even worth the value that you that God has to be rich in faith in the kingdom of of his presence in your life. If you grow in God and allow his presence to be more in your life, that riches will supply any bag that you could ever chase. So I'm saying for this morning medicine, I want us to look at our lives. Are you chasing after the bag? Are the decisions you make, are they based on money? What about being based on God? Does that take me away from him or does that bring me closer to him? God, we can't please God by how much we put in a tithe basket. But we can please God by how much life we give unto him. By how much faith he says, that what pleases me. So I'm saying for our morning medicine, don't wear yourself out chasing the bag. The Bible says you need to stop that. Because at the end of that all, you'll see how much time you actually wasted because there was something much greater than that bag. This is your morning medicine. Let us be rich in faith instead of being rich in things. God don't care how much Gucci we got on. He, he cares more about how much righteousness we got on. How much of him do we have on? God bless you all.